fourth time trying to record this video because the site just won't flipping load. Hey all you Hillmaniacs, it's Hillmanator. Today we have my results from first year back. Well, I say today, they've been back for about a day and a half now, but uh, I haven't been able to access them. I've tried filming this video about three other times, maybe four, and I haven't been able to access my results any time because uh, I think the site has crashed because that many people have been searching for their own. I'm going to try and uh, record my reaction. Fortunately, I don't have the best setup here, so I'm just going to pop you on my computer. I've also only recently learnt how to screen record on my laptop, which means that uh, this is going to go interestingly. Okay, I'm going to try and load it up. I bet it's going to crash. Oh, it seems to be doing alright so far. Okay. I've pressed login. It's loading. It's loading for once. I got 65.8%, which translates as 16.7. What does that translate as? I'll have to work out exactly what that. Uh, I think that means I got a 2 1, which I'm quite happy with. I thought I'd be getting it like maybe a 2 2, but uh, yeah, a 2 1. I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at my, um, my courses. So, for film, on my first report, I got a B, that was the colour essay on. Frankenstein. Then on my first essay, which was the one where I compared colour between Jaws and Psycho, I got a B. And on my second essay, which was... what was it? Give me a mo. I want to find out because I have completely forgotten. <laughs> first year... this is specifically in my film. My second essay was on Top Gun and how uh, Tom Cruise represents Reaganite philosophies and for that one I got an A-. minus. Then in the exam I got on average what? I think on average I got a C plus in the exam which isn't the best but uh, it it'll do and then on my group project the short film I directed I got an A on that <laughs> which is pretty darn good in philosophy my first essay I got a B my second one I got a B minus my third one I got an A and my fourth one I got an A as well in the exam again I think it averages out to about a C in the exam, which isn't the best, but still could be far worse. And then in my uh, in my religion paper, I got a C on my first essay, C plus on my second essay, a B plus on the next two. And then in the exam, I think it averages at about a B. Yeah, so on average, I'm about a B sh student on my first year, which isn't the best, isn't the worst. Let me double check that though, because, give me a sec. Oh, hold on. 16.7 was my score specifically in film, but on all modules I appear to have received a 2-1. I'm not exactly sure how the uh, how the ranking works. It's kind of all a bit confusing to me. So yeah, I appear to have got two one overall in my uh, in my first year. 
which if you don't know how the UK grading system works for a uh, university, uh, top grades are firsts, they're on average about 70% and above, they're very difficult to get. Then you've got two ones, which are pretty darn good. Next up you have two twos, which are okay. And then at the bottom of the pack you've got thirds, which you passed just about, you kind of scraped through, and then um, below that you've just failed. Thirds are about 40% if I'm remembering correctly, two twos are about 50-ish, so two ones are anywhere from 60 to 70 and on average, okay, let's actually work out what my average percent was for this year. 65.8 plus 61 plus 61.7. And then divide that by 3 to give me my mean average. So my average grade for this year was about 62.8 free recurring percent, which is good, but I know I can do better. I did study quite well during my first year, but I didn't have my study techniques down properly because, as some of you may know, I didn't really have to study all that hard at GCSE and A-level, and so my study techniques are a bit rusty uh, I've been looking into how to improve them so hopefully this year I should be doing a little bit better but yeah I I got a 2-1 I'm quite happy with that <laughs> so it's been a couple of days now and I've had time to think about my grades and all of that sort of stuff and here's the thing I should be happy with my grades and I know I should, but I never have been. There has never been a time in my life where I have been pleased with my grades. And there's one simple reason for that. It's because I procrastinate a lot, like to an insane degree. It's, it's almost ridiculous how much procrastination I do. And because of that, I've never done as well as I know I could if I wasn't procrastinating. And I, I tried to do it less at uni. I did actually revise for my uni exams occasionally. So, you know, I did, I did do better at uni than in terms of not procrastinating than I did at my A-levels and at GCSE. But I still, I still feel like I could have done better. I think, I think I did okay. That's the thing though. Like, a 2-1, it's a good grade. But... I, got, I was on kind of the lower end of the 2-1 and personally I'd like to either be on the upper end or in a first and I know I'm capable of it it's just that I, I I was procrastinating too much last year which is annoying because I promised myself I would do better and I haven't but then the other part of it is also that I'm a bit of a perfectionist Anyone who knew me from GCSE and A-level will be able to tell you that even when I got A's and A-stars, I was still disappointed with my grades. I, uh, <laughs> unless I was doing pretty much perfectly, I'm never actually happy with my own achievements. There's probably a reason for that somewhere, but I don't know why, but no matter how well I do, I always think that I can do one step better. Um, so, a 2-1, the annoying thing is, I know I should be proud of it, and, yeah, I'm not. It just, it feels like I haven't put any effort in and I've just been given it, which, obviously, I did put effort in. I spent a lot of time working hard on my year, and I know that, but at the same time, because I've now done it it's just like well that's over now that was easy looking back on it which it wasn't <laughs> it's just the way my mind works I think where I'm I'm never as happy with my grades as 
I want to be. Which, it's, it can come across as slightly pretentious, that's probably why I didn't mention it when I first was talking about my grades. The problem is, it can come across as me trying to rub my own grades in people's faces, which of course is not what I want to do. The, I'm doing this video not to rub my grades in anyone's face, it's literally just to say, woo, look, yeah, we, we all did well this year. I don't know, it just, whenever I complain about my grades, I seem to have a habit of making other people feel bad about it, which I don't want to do. If you got a 2-1, that could be really great for you. Maybe you're really proud of it, and you should be. No matter what you got this year, you should be proud of it because you tried hard. The problem is, I don't seem to have the ability to be proud of my own grades. And I don't know why. I've never been happy with any of my grades. Ever. I remember in year 7 I was studying Welsh for the first time in my entire life because technically I started studying in year six, but the Welsh teacher would only speak in Welsh, which was helpful to learning the language. But then it came to year seven, and I was studying it for the first time in my life, and I got a level five, which I was <laughs> very annoyed at, because, as I said, I'm a perfectionist, so <laughs> I needed to do better. At GCSE, I got a B in it, even though I had been learning for so little amount of time, we actually did the GCSE a year early for it, and I still managed to get a B, which I should be happy with, but I'm not. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm never happy with my grades, but anyway, uh, that's, that's my problem. I am seemingly incapable of enjoying my own success. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. So if you've had exams this year, I hope they've gone well for you and I hope that you are able to enjoy and appreciate your grades no matter how they turn out. Whether it be on the lower end or the higher end, that you know that you put in as much effort as you can and that you got the grade that you deserved. Okay, thanks for watching all. I shall catch you next time.